Saturday, we are gonna get started. My name is Linda and we are gonna do strength training today. So the theme of the day is kettlebell. So if you can grab at least one heavy weight, maybe a medium weight, or you can use a combination if you don't have a heavy, super heavy weight, we're gonna try to push our limits today. We're gonna repeat everything twice or we're gonna alternate right and left depending on what we're doing, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We have 45 minutes jam pack. We're gonna start with a dynamic warm up, just kind of bounce in place. I'm so glad you guys have joined me. So get those timers. We've got a timer set. We're gonna do everything for 35 seconds. And then, like I said, we repeat the move. So we're really gonna repeat and get that form, that good form, get that heart rate going a little bit, and then add our strength. All right, reach up. Just to kind of release some of those arms, warm up the legs a little bit. All right, arms wide, rotate. Just rotate through the wrist. We're gonna do some kettlebell swings. We've got what's called a halo. So if you've never done this, I will show modifications. Reach side to side punch. We've got deadlifts in there. So we are gonna work from head to toe. Something a little different than we did last week. Hopefully you guys had a good time last week. If not, go back. They're all recorded on Facebook as well as YouTube. Go back. They are free to you for the month of December. Big reach. Good. All right, hamstring curl. Kick those heels back. Cut. Just kind of warming up. It is not so much a cardio class, but you'll get some cardio in there, especially as you increase or decrease those weights. Two more. All right, side to side. Just load and unload. Step. Good. Sinking through the hips. Stretch out those legs. Four more. Three, two, one. All right. Flatten the back down. Roll up. Good. Take a deep breath in. Big reach. Stretch that back. Roll back. Good. Just roll through the shoulders. Upper body, lower body, everything in between. All right. The first thing we're going to do is continuing our warm up. All right. So kind of stretch out, roll through those ankles, grab your heaviest weight. All right. Dumbbell or kettlebell if you have it. Bend the knees. Here we go. Around the world. Looking good. We're just doing that around the world. Keep going. I'm going to change my timer. One of my timers did not get set. So let me grab it really quick. There's always something. All right, there we go. So we stay on task here, stay on focus. All right. So you're just taking it around. We repeat it. So remember which direction you're going because we're going the other way. Bend your knees, feet hip width apart, maybe slightly wider, and that's good. We're just loosening up shoulders, core. Draw the abs in. A lot of kettlebell is core induced. So we've got, think about it like three sections today. All about 15 minutes each. Got about five seconds. Just kind of let it swing through. Good. Now take a little breather. You've got five second built in kind of breaks. Now go the other way. Now if you want a little bit more, we're, like I said, we're just kind of loosening up. Arms slightly bent. And you, careful you don't drop it. Goodness gracious. I was gonna show you this. Bring it up and under. Little figure eight through the legs if you want more. If not, you stand right here. Make sure you've got a good grip on that. Or use a kettlebell if you've got a kettlebell. All the ins and outs, right? Nothing's perfect. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for progress, right? We're all on a different journey. That is my biggest thing. All right, next thing we got. Heaviest weight, or I'm going to switch to my kettlebell. And you're going to put it in your right hand, lunge back, row. So I want you about 90 degrees or a little bit higher, okay? Bend your knees and then row to your ribs. And this is where this first one can be extremely heavy. I want you to push yourself today. I want you to say, can I go heavier? And you don't know until you try, right? You don't know if you can do 100 biceps like we did last week, unless you try. So it's all time today. Good, now just switch arms. Switch legs, lunge back, roll the shoulders from the hip, 
Hinge forward, bend, and then row. You can have your arm out to the side. You can have it right here, up and down. Take a deep breath in and out. Hup, hup, good. Just right to the rows. We're gonna repeat both sides again. So when we repeat, you can stay with your heaviest weight or if you don't have your heaviest weight and you're feeling good, like you can work a little harder, then definitely grab that heavier weight. Back up, good, strong, three seconds, two, one. All right, you got five seconds to switch. Take a deep breath in. Bend the knees from the hip, hinge forward. Now row to the ribs. Keep your upper body from swinging, okay? None of this. Hold, stay low, and row. Stay low. If you want, you can add a little tap. Otherwise, stay low and just row to the ribs. We repeat everything like I said. We're looking for good form, so I want to repeat things so that you can really start to isolate. We're working that back, working those arms. Pull back, three, two, one. Switch, anybody's heart rate going up? It should if you've got a heavy enough weight. If this is like, oh, so easy and have a full conversation, then you need to get a heavier weight. If you're like, Linda, I don't have a heavier weight, then double it up. Just grab two and then row. I think we did these last week, right? Row, elbow goes straight back. My back, my neck are all in alignment. Woo! Up, looking good. We've got a double arm kettlebell swing next. You can do it with your dumbbell. So don't worry about having or trying to have a dumbbell. All right, so I'm gonna show you. Legs are wide, toes out. Down, up, swing back, up. So it is a hip movement. It is not just an arm swing. Use the hip, bring it forward. Hip, hip. If you can go all the way back, don't. Don't, you need to go heavier. So I'm gonna go heavier. Down, up. I'm just using a kettlebell because they didn't have a dumbbell that was heavy enough. So, but like I said, double arm. We're gonna do this two rounds. So you get it right. So take a breather. Let me show you. Legs are wide. Sit down slightly, swing, swing, swing. So you're pushing your hip bones forward. Let's go. 30 seconds. Squeeze that backside. Do not put it in your lower back. Put it right in the glute, the hamstring. Swing it, long arms, long arms. We are not done with this swing. We got a single arm swing coming up. 10, nine, I love the kettlebell swing. It's working from the head to the toe. All right, maybe not the head particularly. All right, I'm gonna turn back to you. All right, you ready? Right arm only, down. One arm swing, then we'll do left, and then we've got an alternating one. We're gonna be here for a while, swing. Swing, set the core right there, set it. Breathe in, find a good rhythm. Woo. Use the momentum, hip bones, forward, squeeze. Looking good, catch your breath, deep breath in, five. We're going to the other arm, woo. All right, other side, are you ready? Deep breath in, here we go. Down. Deep breath in. Yes. In and out. Up and down. Go. How we doing? How we doing? Good. Deep breath in. Don't lose form. Long arm. Set right there. Draw them in. Make it count. All right, now catch your breath. If you're not having to breathe through this, now, this is where it gets tricky. Right, then left. Are you ready? So right, both arms come up. Left, both arms come up. Right, left, right, left. We've got two rounds of this, right? 
left. Deep breath in. Whew. Looking good. Don't lose your form. Don't round your back. Four seconds. Three, two, one. All right, grab your breath. One more, just like that alternating right and left. If you're not comfortable with that, then definitely you can come here, okay? Or alternate. Or just do one arm for four. If you don't like the transitions, otherwise up, up. Both arms swing up, swing. Woo! I love the kettlebell because you're not only working arms, legs, core, right? Long, cardio even. Good, three, two. All right, grab, come on in. Grab your dumbbell. Now from here, start and stop, halos, up and around. So you are sweeping, okay? Catch your breath, up and around. Now the second time we do this, I want you to see if you can grab a heavier weight and we'll switch directions. So always try maybe the heavier, I can't be with you. Try the heaviest weight first, because it's fresh, and then you can readjust if you need to. Otherwise, up and over, seven seconds, all the way like you're putting a jacket on. Flexibility, mobility, strength, shoulders, chest. All right, I'm switching. Kettlebell, are you ready? Mess out, right, work out here, there we go. Up and around, oh, let's go the other way. You're going one direction, let's switch. Always coming back right there, bend your knees, set your core. Up and over, looking good. Little halos, Up. We've got a good morning next, which remember, we're gonna cue that you don't put it in that lower back again, right? You squeeze your glutes. You're gonna have a dumbbell at your neck. You can always take the dumbbell down. All right, I'm gonna show you. So base, now knees are bent, you hinge. So you feel the back of the legs. You hinge, elbows in and lift. So 90 degrees or until you feel, right, the back of those legs. Slight bend in the knees, hinge forward. Woo, good morning. That is what this is. Hello, happy Saturday. Do we feel those hamstrings? Do we feel those calf muscles? Tuck it in, lift two, one. All right, we got one more, just the same. Shake it out if you need to, otherwise, Maybe a heavier weight. We'll see, here we go. Feet right under hips. Slight bend in the knees and you hinge forward. Do not put it on your neck. You're putting it on the base and holding it right on the base of your shoulders, right between, okay? Those deltoids. Oh, good. Good morning. We feel those deadlifts. We got more of those coming up. Woo! From the front, hinge. Right back up, okay? Down, you got four, three. We've got a side lunge with a clean press. Are you ready? Heaviest weight, clean and press. So we come down, rack it, press it. Down, flip it, down, down. Rack it, press it, in, down. Rack it, press it, in. It is a clean and press. Zip it up. Flip that elbow and then roll down. Lunge, up, in, down, cross. Reach for that toe if you want, watch this, to the knee. Then rack it, press it, in, down. We're gonna switch sides. All right, now just switch. Whatever arm you didn't do, we're lunging with the opposite. Ready, two, one, go. Lunge, zip it up, rack it, press it, gut. Rack it, press it, drop. Elbow leads. So when you come down, lead, gut, as you press up. How we doing? Woo! Saturday morning, making it work. Yes. Again, do we have, look at your weight. Is this your heaviest? Listen to your body, especially with the shoulders. We got one more of each. Rack it, all right, come down. Stand nice and tall, shake it out. 
right leg. Let's do it. Right lunge, reach across, rack it, press it. Down, take your time. If you've got a heavier weight, down, rack it, press it, zip it down. Reach, press it, get down, rack it. You're like, Linda, I'm gonna have that in my head all day. That's okay. Press. We're only doing one arm at a time versus those body pump where you're doing that entire bar, right? So you can go heavier. Mind over, right? Here we go. Down, lunge, rack it, press it. Clean and press. Down. Set the core obliques. Down. We've got a little bit of a breather here. We're done. So last one of the first set, one of three. Good. Up. Using. This is multitasking at so many levels. Arms, shoulders, chest, glutes, hamstrings, everything above. Two. One. All right, grab a drink. All right, where is my water? Keep going, guys. I'm going to grab. There's your bell for break time. It's not a very long break. I'm back. I'm back. Seems like it's delayed. All right, 10 seconds. We've got a reverse, okay? A reverse. So grab your weight overhead. One, down. Set it right out in front. Down. Long arm. It's a reverse kettlebell. Down. Hoop. Down. Hoop. When you're looking at it from the side, slightly hips back. And then you go right. And then you go left. Good. Side. Eighth of squat. Down. Lift. Set the core at the top. So from here, swing it down. Hold. Swing it down. Hold. We got two of these. Deep breath in. Hold. Good. I'm going to change weights. Maybe we can go a little heavier, right? Let's do this. Weight up. Go. Good. Sit the hips back. Swing. Maybe it's a little hip, and that's okay. Set the core. The weight is not completely over you because I don't want you to arch your back. It's down. Make it a bigger squat if you want. Then swing up. It's a reverse kettlebell. We got a suitcase coming up. Woo! Five seconds. Keep going. Woo! One. All right. Gently put those weights down. Are you ready? Grab your weight. It is a suitcase. Right hand. Feet hip width apart. Long arms. Reach. One arm. Reach. Good. It's a squat. Again, setting. Sit low. Good. Sit low. Woo! We've got four of these because we're going to go right and left. Then we'll alternate. Woo! Big suitcase. Like you're holding on to suitcases and you swing them forward. Good. Push through the heels, through the quads. Good. Now just switch arms. Are you ready? Deep breath in. Here we go. Swing it. Up. Straight up front. You're straight in front. You can use both arms. Good. Now, you can stay one and one, or you switch, okay? Right now, we still got 20 seconds on the left. Woo! Set it! How low can we go? And then swing those hip bones forward. Don't put it in your lower back. Swing. Swing. Three, two. All right, catch your breath. Deep breath in. Like Linda, cardio, I know. Deep, this is low impact. Right, if you want and you feel comfortable, down, up, down, up, sit back. Otherwise, just do the right. Right arm, suitcase, suitcase swing. You can keep it all here. We got one more set, 15 left, seconds left or alternate if you choose. Balance it out. Take a deep breath in. Long arms, come on. All right, last one. Left side only. 
or alternating. Sit down, narrow, keep your feet in. Right under those hip bones. A little different than the kettlebell swing. Woo! Option, slow it down. But you're gonna like the momentum. Up, don't forget, swing it, hips, hinge forward. Go, not over top. Both arms come up, then to your side. We're almost there, four, three, two. All right, we have double leg deadlift. I'm gonna get my heaviest here. Here we go, heavy weight, feet hip width apart, down and up from the side. Back up, good, slide it down. You decide how low you wanna go without breaking form, okay? What I don't want you to see, or don't wanna see, is this, rounded back, okay? Straighten it up, down, down, up, up. Woo, heart rate is up there. You needed a little cardio, right? After Dave's yoga class. All right, we got one more. Double, double. All right, ready? Feet flat, right under hips, down. Now, I want you to go for depth without rounding your back. Can you reach to the floor? Is that weight heavy enough? Do you need to add another weight? Down, down, up, up, down, down. We have a single arm, single leg deadlift coming up. Single arm is first, where you'll just put the weight and we're gonna stagger it, okay? So keep going, you got eight seconds, I'm gonna show you. It's double leg, double arms. Then we're gonna stagger, which means from the side, stagger deadlift, bend the knees. Are you ready? Just in your right hand, are you ready? Left leg is back, let's put it in our left hand. Down, down, back up. Stagger deadlift, down, which means your feet are just staggered. Still working. Can we get it to the floor? Now, you can add a little bit of speed. Lift, down, lift. How about a three, two, one, up, three, two, one. So your left leg's back, your left arm should be with the weight. Big up, three, two, how low? All right, now switch. Right leg is slightly back. Left leg, okay, it's in the right arm. Down, two, up, two. Dead lift, put it all in. You've gotta get it heavy enough so you feel this. Get it heavy enough so you feel it, and then squeeze all the way up to the backside. Now ready for three. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. One, couple more. Three, two, one more. Let's pick a squeeze it in. Three, two, one. Good. All right. Now deadlift, single leg. Right leg down, down, and up. I know we're doing lots because you know what? We're doing a lot of squats involved in those kettlebells. So balance. Down, two, up, two. Now down, two, Three, big up, down, two, three, big up, down, two, three, big up. Now switch, other leg, switch arms. Balance or on your side, ready? Down, up, up, a little quicker, down for two, back up for two, down, down. All right, how's our day going so far? You guys are working out. Hopefully you're joining us live. If not, welcome. These, like I said, are recorded. So you can go back, just scroll down on Facebook or scroll down on the YouTube, YMCA of the North. Good, three down, one up. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Back up. Three, two. Balance if you want. We're gonna do one more. Three, two, one, all right, shake it out, shake it out. We have rainbows. Grab your bell, barbell or your barbell or dumbbell. Rainbows, one shoulder, up and over to the other. Up, I want this heavy chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps. You're making a rainbow. Up and over, 
You will not feel this tomorrow unless you challenge yourself, which means you've got to have a heavy enough weight to make this work. Up and over, up and over. You can always rainbow a little smaller, but up, shoulder to shoulder. We got one more set. All right, take a deep breath in. Bend your knees. Here we go. One shoulder. Up. Keep it up there. It does not come all the way down here. Stay up high. Lift. We've got a goblet squat. And then we have a goblet squat, a squat with a reach across. Work those obliques a little bit. We are almost done with our second set, guys. Lift. Lift. Woo. Ten seconds. Up. Up. Is that weight getting heavier? Good. I want it to. Then you know you've got a good weight. Up, over. All right. Goblet squats. Legs are wide. We sit all the way down. How low can we get? Can we get below? And then stand. Okay. Low. How low? Stand. Now faster. Down. Up. Down. You're just holding onto your dumbbell. Good. Sinking through. If you need to, come up a little higher. But a goblin squat is all the way down. Sit your butt down. Stand. Next move, you're going to twist, okay? Right now, it's right here. Five seconds. Four. You do not lose the depth. All right, take it out. Now, down low, lift and press. Down low, lift and press. Low, high. Use those obliques. Press. How heavy is your weight? Should we have a contest? No. Everybody's on a different journey. And what your weight may be, may be your perfect weight that you need to get that body moving. And that's okay. It's okay. Press. Good. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, guys. We have a reverse lunge with an overhead tricep. So grab your weight. Weight up. Lunge back. Here we go. Down, up. Or down, up. Your choice. Elbows tucked in. Try to bring that weight all the way to the base. Remember that good morning? Can we touch where that weight was when we were doing the good morning? Down, up, down. Woo! We're switching. We've got four rounds of these. All right, ready? Other leg back. Again, option, just the left side. Tapping, lowering, or up. Got working those triceps now. We've got core coming up. Woo! How are those triceps? Can we go heavier? Whoa! 12 seconds. Deep breath in. Let it out. Good job, guys. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one more. Good. All right. Ready for one more of each. Let's do this. Option. Down and stand. Your choice, if you need to. Step back, step back, okay? Otherwise, lunge, lift, or lunge, lift. Good, then add those arms. Deep breath through the nose. Control. How are those triceps? Looking good, five seconds. Strong legs, strong arms. Whew. Can you give me one more? You can do this. Are you ready? Here we go. Set it. Down. 30 seconds. Down. Up. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Down. Up. Down. Up. Woo! Full range. On those triceps. On those knees. 10. Woo! Up! Fight through it! Five, four, three, two, one, zero! Guess what? We've got a break. 
Grab a quick drink of water. Quick, quick, quick. Let me grab one thing here. We've got core coming up. Core, core, core. Take that breath in. Here we go. All right. Come on down. Rush and twist first. So heaviest weight possible, okay? Return. turn. Woo. All right. So heels down, lean back, abs are in, okay? Then right and left. Option, lift the leg. Good. Looking good. Twist, twist, twist. Looking great, guys. Right, left, or both up and go side to side. Three, two, one. Take a little breather. Now I want you to try to do as much as you can. Lift the legs, get the legs involved, then go right, left, right. If you want a little more, you actually bring the knees the opposite direction of your weight. Side, 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 good. Woo! I'm gonna switch cameras too and see if that'll work. Give you a little more close up on that core moves. All the rest are core. Good. Do we have our heaviest weight? Yes, I hear you. If not, you've got three, two, one. All right, grab your weight, guys. We're doing a sit up, okay? I'm gonna move my mic just a little bit. It is a double arm sit up. Arms here, come up and then roll back down. Come on up. You guys keep doing that. Roll down, roll up. Switch cameras here. Nope, we'll go back to A. There we go, that's okay. I'll move back. Keep going, rolling down, rolling up. So many little things, but that's okay. We'll get it. Rolling down, you got seven seconds. Are we tucking in? You're pulling in the abs. And then you're reaching. All right, we got it one more time. All right, dig your heels. If you need to, watch this. You do a little hitch, and that's okay. Every good instructor will give you modifications because everybody is not the same. Some need it, just a little edge, and that's okay, a little step until they become stronger. And others, are way past both of us. And that's okay too. You are right where you're supposed to be. Just keep those moving. Moving the arms, tucking in the core. Good, now a one arm sit up, okay? So if this is too heavy, change it up. Otherwise, right arm out to the side, come up. Now, if you can, keep it as straight as you can. Lift, straighten the back and then roll down. Good, roll up and roll down. Looking good, guys. Roll up, roll down. Remember that hitch if you want? There you go. Down, up. Deep breath in. I'm gonna show you an option up in a second. Right now, just keep it here. Try to keep that arm from locking out. Switch. All right, other side. You can have your arm out to the side. We're here, here we go. One side, you will feel stronger. If you're right-handed, it's probably gonna be in that right arm. Left arm's gonna feel a little more, okay? Just keeping that weight, if you need to, bend the arm, okay? Just keep it at 90. Or when you rock and roll up, and use a little press, your choice. Remember that hitch, we got 10 seconds. Dig your heels, belly button in, lift, good. If you've got the right weight, these last few should be hard, all right? Now option, take it back in the right hand, left leg, reach across, lower, reach across, lower. If you don't wanna use the lower, work in lower abs now, as well as upper. So option, you can always just keep it right back here. We've got about 18 seconds. So pick and choose, right? That's the joy. We're gonna attack that core. And then of course, we gotta finish with our plank. Press or sit nice and tall. Good, we got one more on the left side. Take a deep breath in everybody. Look at me, 
You got this, okay? Here we go. Down, lift, functional training. Keep going, functional training. You roll, you're rolling off the floor, okay? Rolling off the floor if you want. Reach up, tap it, or just extend the leg. Reach in for that toe, back to that field goal post. Good, we got 11 seconds. Exhale on the work. Otherwise, up. Five. So many options. Three, two, strong one. All right. So now we have a double crunch. Grab your heaviest weight. Shoulders up. Pulse. Pulse. Both arms. You lift your shoulders as high as you can and lift. 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 Lower back is flat. I'm going to grab a little heavier weight. We have two of these. So. I want you to go heavy enough. It's a top half crunch. Push, push, push. Strong believer in core. You have a core, strong core. The rest of your body will come right in line. Lift if you're a runner. Your core, everything runs through your core, right? All right, you ready to do this again? Here we go. Lift, lift. We've got a reverse crunch coming up. We lift the legs up and pulse. Same move, except it's the bottom half. How high? Get those shoulder blades off that mat, right? Shoulder blades up and off, push, push, speed it up, dig the heels. You got 12, 11, 10. You can do this, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, woo! All right, ready, reverse crunch. Legs up, weight just stays. Lift the heels up, up, up. The first part of this, I want you just to try to get those hips off the ground. Sit bones up, up, up. Then push the heels. Good, up, up, lift. Then if you want more, really lift up, lift. Maybe a couple little ones. Tuck those belly buttons, everything below that belly button. Tuck it in, lift. Lift, Woo. you're trying to get those muscles, those core abdominals tight. Lift, lift, two, one. Ah. Deep breath in, we got one more round. Ready, here we go. Up, 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 little bitty heels to the ceiling. Lift, lift, lift. If you feel like you're not lifting very high, it's okay, make the motion, lift. Even if it's just a little bitty one, sometimes the littlest ones are the most intense. Eight. Good. Oh, no. 14 seconds. Sorry, guys. But I wanted speed now. Push. 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 Can we get those shins to that weight? Up. 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 Good. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Now, I'm going to do, because we're going over our top, it's called the banana cannonball. Are you ready? So your cannonball, take a deep breath in, ready? Banana. Now, that wasn't quite my full banana. So here we go. Push, banana, cannonball. Now if you want half a banana, then tuck and do a cannonball. Good, banana, or just the bottom banana. Bottom banana, or heels down, tuck. Heel, tuck, heel, tuck, okay? We have one more set, make it your own. Let's do this. Cannonball, banana, cannonball, or cannonball, banana. When you're staying on the floor, banana, cannonball. Woo! Or just the legs, maybe a little higher. Your choice, up. Good, or you can come up side to side. Banana, so many options. Seven, good, six, whoo, five. Stretch it out. Ah, all right. Are you ready? Flip over, flip over, flip over. We gotta do our plank in the middle of all this. Are you ready? Grab your weight for two reach. It's a renegade row. Renegade row. So on the knees, row to your ribs. 
Good. And then we've got our finisher, okay? So this isn't quite, we're just gonna hold the plank for that final minute with a little reaching jack. Are you ready? So row to the ribs. And we're gonna add a little lift. We got four rounds of these, so switch sides. Just gonna fix my mat. So you're on your plank. Oh goodness, here we go. Left arm, knees or toes, let's go. Lift to the ribs, renegade row. Now, if you want, lift, lift. It's a lot of balance, so take your time, if you, especially if you've got a heavier weight. Lift, stabilizers, bend your elbow slightly, shift forward, or just keep it on the ground, just row. Good, take a breather, sit back. Shake out those wrists. We're doing it again. All right, here we go. Options. On the knees, row. On the knee, you can lift the other knee. Take your time, and it doesn't have to be a very big lift, okay? Squeeze your glute, or on the toes. It's more of an advanced move, so take your time, or just keep your feet and row, okay? Control, it's all about stability now. Strength and stability of the core. Good, one more. How are we doing? Woo! All right, finishing it up. On the knees, row, lift. So as you bring it down, knee comes down. As you go up, knee comes up. Keep your butt down though. Good. Or on the toes. Focus on something, lift, core strong, 10 seconds, or just hold, right, good, we got a heavy weight, Woo! I got to shift forward, good, find your plank, all right, now we have two things left, come down to your hover, 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 hips down, now walk out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Deep breath in. If anything, you can do the little taps. You can shift forward and just hold the plank. All right, take a deep breath in. Out, out, in, in. Good, core strong. All right, knees down, shift back. All right, crouch to a so functional one. So crouch to a plank. Crouch, hips all the way back, slide back, it's crouch and plank. Good, hips, little flow, good. Now watch this, come forward. You can bring your knees down, little crocodile here. Then back up lift crouch good little push off the floor crocodile knees down if you want push back good come up guess what knees down hips all the way back to heels Woo. all right i want you guys all to take a deep breath through your nose let it all out just relax for a second we're gonna stretch the hips out a little bit. Stretch definitely, stretch those arms and shoulders. All right, as you come up, round your back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, now flatten the back, tabletop. You can arch the back if you need to. Tuck the toes. All right, now as you come up, take your right leg wide to the outside of your right arm, okay? And do a little wide lunge. My toes are pointed out wide. Take a deep breath in, and then slowly bring that back knee down. How did we do today? Whoo, little kettlebell theme, using those barbells. All right, step back, lift the knee, other side. Why did we sweat a little bit? Okay, put those knees down. Every week, my promise is to give you something fresh. Let those muscles have 
similar moves, you know, not reinventing too much of the wheel, but definitely doing them in different ways to get that body reacting. Good, lift. Now bring it back. Sit the heels back, stretch out those calf muscles. You can do an alternating push down. And then when you're ready, walk your feet to your hands. And then fold, reach for those toes. Stretch some more if you need to, guys. We're gonna do one more, roll up. Good. Hook, just lay it across the front, roll through the wrist. A lot of swinging, a lot of lifting. Woo, sweaty, sweaty messes, you guys got it. Let me know who's out there. Let me know if you're liking these. Let me know if there's something new or different you want to do. Always take those under consideration. Take that right leg behind, IT band, tricep. If you need to head out, head out. We're just finishing our last part of our stretching. There's not a class after this. If you're in Minnesota, the gyms are open for using the equipment. Our fitness classes will start after the first of the year. So we'll let you know when that schedule becomes active again. We miss you guys. We love that we're able to do these virtual classes. We're gonna continue doing these even when we back open full, fully back open. We're still gonna be doing these online. Bring it up. Good, let's take a deep breath in. So find us at the YMCA of the North on YouTube, on Vimeo, on Facebook. That's probably the best place is just to hit subscribe or on YouTube, hit sub subscribe. And my name is Linda. Thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. We hope you have happy holidays and a merry, merry Christmas. Take care.